Yes, we will go with the next concept in module number 1 that is center of curvature and circle of curvature. Already we have gone with radius of curvature that is rho. Now we are going to talk with center of curvature and circle of curvature. So to understand, first we should know some term definition over here. Okay, that is a tangent and normal. As already I have learned, what do I mean by tangent and what is normal? Okay, the positive direction of a tangent, okay, at a point P of a curve is the one in which x increases okay there will be a positive direction of the tangent and the negative direction okay now here if you see this is a curve okay so if you are increasing the x values likewise y values are increasing right so the curve is going on increasing suppose i'll consider one point p on this curve and i'll draw a tangent so since the curve is increasing okay the values are getting increased the tangent here drawn at the point P is taken in this manner as the positive direction of the tangent. Positive direction of the tangent. Okay. If the x values are decreasing, then this side it is going to be taken as the negative direction of the tangent. Okay. Now see here. How the x values are increasing. Okay. Likewise, y values are decreasing like. Okay. So once it is decreasing, so we are going to take it as a negative that is the negative direction of the tangent okay so next the positive direction of normal is obtained by rotating the positive direction of the tangent in the anti clockwise direction anti clockwise means what clockwise means clock moving like this right now normal if you have to draw we have to take the positive direction of the normal okay that is in anti clockwise means the tangent what is moving it will be like this okay so this 90 degrees making an angle 90 degrees with this tangent this is going to be the positive direction of the normal is it okay now here this is the negative direction of the tangent okay anti-clockwise means it will move like this right so when it moves like this it will reach this point so, so this is what the negative direction of the tangent okay the normal okay so this is what to understand first now to start the main definition that is center of curvature okay what is a center of curvature to know okay let p be any point on the curve a b i have considered one curve a b okay on that i have considered a point p and p t be the tangent at the point p i have drawn a tangent that is known as p t okay to the curve let C be the point on the normal. What is normal now? Here curve is increasing. So here when the curve is increasing. So this is the positive direction right. So since the curve is increasing. So the line drawn at an angle of 90 degrees is taken as a normal. Okay. Let C be the point on the normal. So I have drawn a point somewhere here. Okay. At P. Uh, drawn uh, on the normal. Drawn at P. Drawn at P. Okay. To the curve AB such that pc such that pc or cp is equals to rho what is rho rho is the radius right so this is the radius distance between these two point is radius okay then the point c is called the center of curvature at the point p is it okay yes so the point p okay from the point uh, here the point c from the point p whatever the distance is taken as what the radius of curvature and the point okay this point is known as what the center of curvature where center of curvature is given by alpha comma beta is it okay well next now i will define for circle of curvature now what is circle of curvature let rho be the radius of curvature as i have mentioned in this figure and c be alpha comma beta be the center of curvature okay at a point p then the circle of curvature at rho at point p is given by the equation is given by x minus alpha the whole square plus y minus beta the whole square is equals to rho square how we know x square plus y square is equals to a square it is the equation of the circle right if the point is h comma k then it is x minus h the whole square plus y minus k the whole square is equals to r square or a square okay 
likewise now here center point is alpha and beta so it is x minus alpha the whole square plus y minus beta the whole square is equals to rho square see i have drawn here i have taken a curve okay on that curve i have taken a point p i have drawn a tangent pt and this is a normal to the uh, at the point p i have considered a point c okay that is the center of the circle okay center of curvature so this center of curvature when it's taking the radius when it moves this point when the points are moving here this radius will remain constant or it may change so for different values of the point it is tracing a curve this stressed curve is known as what the circle of curvature is it okay if suppose p is point over here okay then again this radius will change and the circle will start move uh, uh, the path will start changing so that what path is there is known as what the circle of curvature and its equation is given by x minus alpha the whole square plus y minus beta the whole square is equals to rho square okay so have you understood with the circle and the center of curvature and circle of curvature yes now so to find <coughs> now pro to proceed here there are some points to be noted okay center of curvature okay how to find this c c point center of curvature it is there is a formula x minus y1 into 1 plus y1 square upon y2 this y2 is only for this term okay comma y plus 1 plus y1 square upon y2 so this is alpha this is alpha and this is beta so we need to compute for alpha and beta consolidated points is known as what the center of curvature okay for different positions of a point p on the curve the coordinates alpha and beta of the center of curvature is different isn't it if you observe here how the point p changes the center also will change okay point p if it changes like that the center also will start changing so hence the coordinates of the point c will be changing so this is what the introduction of the center of curvature and circle of curvature so the problems we'll see in the next video thank you